Uh, hello. So what do we got here? We got some cigars. They've been sitting in here for a while. All right. So these Tupperwares work really good for uh, storing cigars. Let's see. Get a little boveda in here. Yep, still, still soft. See what we got in here. I got a Carrillo, EP Carrillo. Oh, we got one of my favorite, the Kubao. It's a cheap stick. Oh, look at that. We got the Charter Oak. Good one. Real good one. Milanio. One of my hand rolled masterpieces. Some little uh, crowned heads. Cigarillo. Is it Crown Heads? Or I might be thinking of something else. But I'm going to go for one that has been in this cooler for over a year. Look at this one. Oh, it's uh, La Aurora de Cuba Mi Amor. hot cup of tea these are good cigars I'm guessing with the extra age it's just gonna I'm kind of have high hopes for this one got home from work stopped by my dad's had some fried chicken and uh, here we are Uh, it's not quite like a, it's not quite Maduro, and it's not quite a super light. Can't decide if I like this record or not. This guy, Sterling Drake. I guess I like it. I played it a few times. He's got kind of a whiny voice, but but then not all the time. So, so far, yeah, I mean, I, 
a little time to chance to get in and burn in down there in the, in the meat of it but uh yeah pick up picked up a little money from a job this week and uh and saw my dad got some fried chicken and uh good cigar it's good it's uh so far um well you know i think i need to let it uh I need to let it just kind of warm up to me a little bit so that's that's all it is put this right here there we go so yeah um Top of the morning to you. Mm. Good cup of tea. This is uh, a puer. Sometimes I like to, it sounds crazy, but I like to make puer tea with cream and sugar. Ah. Should be on. Uh, they might watch a movie. Relax. Perfect draw. Perfect draw on this. It does taste very quality. Very, very quality taste there. Yeah. What else we got in here? We got some My Father, Le Bijou's. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's some quality tobacco. So we got our Charter Oak, yeah. One of these, these are really old. I've had these little cigarellas, these uh, Black Pearl. These are cheap and they don't look like much, but after, they've had about three years on them now. These are very good, actually, at this point. I got like 50 of them, so they've kind of stuck around. Got a couple of these, my father, Le Bijou's. Oh, we got the Magic Toast. That's a good one. Magic Toast is real good. Yeah. So every once in a while, I'll just take something out of my cooler and smoke on that. So this, this is going to be my. Uh, Sticks I smoke probably the next couple weeks, Even longer than that. But I say that, but honestly, I'll probably uh, I'll probably reach in the cooler every once in a while. I think of something I want to smoke that's like buried in the cooler somewhere. Today, you know, to be honest, I don't really think about smoking cigars very much anymore. I don't look forward to it like I used to. But uh, today, I actually did. I actually was thinking, man, I can't wait to go home and just chill out and smoke a stogie. You know? Yeah, I can't wait till I get some more minutes. I can do another live when that happens. Which 
actually reminds me, I think I need to shuffle a little money around. I never did get around to putting my phone bill on my credit card, which I, I meant to do. That's a tasty stick. It's very rich. It doesn't have a real distinct flavor, but it's it's got just sort of a vague, you know, smoky tobacco, rich, rich smoky tobacco thing. It's it's good. Kind of a rustic quality to it almost. So Tad rough on the retro hill. It's a strong cigar. Yeah. 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 Let's see if I can play some music. 